हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द मैथ्स कोर इट्स वैदिक मैथ लेवल फोर डे फोर्टी फाइव एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वैदिक मैथ मेथड फॉर डिवीजन ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इट बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल देन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकॉन ऑल्सो लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट फॉर दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज 2x square plus 4x plus 7 divided by x plus 2. In the first step, we need to find out the value of x so that compare x plus 2 with 0. x plus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 minus 2 and x is equal to minus 2. So we got the value of x here and we need to take that value as a divisor. Now let's arrange the coefficient of this trinomial here. 2, 4, 7. Now take the first coefficient 2 as it is at the bottom and multiply it with the Minus two, so two multiply minus two is equal to minus four. Now add this minus four in the next number four. So four plus minus four is equal to zero. Now multiply this zero with minus two, so we will get zero here. Now add this zero in seven. So seven plus zero is equal to seven. Now this last number seven is the remainder of this division, and first two term we need to write down in the form of polynomial. So here two terms are there. That's why we need to take the highest degree of variable is equal to one. So quotient will be two x plus zero. That is two x. Second example is three x cube plus two x square plus five x plus nine divided by x minus one. Now equate this x minus one with zero. So x minus one is equal to zero. That is x is equal to zero plus one. And x is equal to one. Take this value of x one as a divisor, and let's arrange all the coefficient of given polynomial here. Three, two, five, nine. Now take the first coefficient three as it is at the bottom, and multiply this three with one. So three multiply by one is equal to three. Now add this three in two. So two plus three is equal to five. Multiply this five with one. So five multiplied by one is five. Add this five in the next five. Five plus five is equal to ten. Now multiply this ten with one. So ten ones are ten. Add this ten in nine. So we will get nineteen. Now this last number nineteen is the remainder, and we got quotient in three terms. So three terms are there. That's why highest degree of variable will be two. So that we will get the quotient as three x square plus five x plus ten. Let's take one more example on it. Five x cube plus three x square plus two x plus ten divided by x minus two. Now equate x minus two with zero. So x minus two is equal to zero. That is x is equal to zero plus two and x is equal to two. Now take this value of x as a divisor and let's arrange all the coefficient of given polynomial here. Five, three, two, ten. Now take the first coefficient phi as it is at the bottom and multiply it with two. Phi two is a ten. Add this ten in the next number three. So ten plus three is equal to thirteen. Now multiply this thirteen with two. Thirteen two is a twenty six. Now write down twenty six here and add this twenty six in two. So twenty six plus two is equal to twenty eight. Now multiply this twenty eight with two. So we will get fifty six. Now add this fifty six in the last number ten, so we will get sixty six. So last number sixty six is the remainder here, and remaining term we need to write down in the form of quotient. So remaining three terms are there. That's why the highest degree of the coefficient will be two. So how we can write it? Five x square plus thirteen x plus twenty eight. In this way, you can find out the division of polynomial by using this method. If you have any doubt related to this method, then you can mention it in comment. Thanks.